Hi, this is Excel video 166 in more solutioninc.com series of videos on how to use Excel in medical practice. Just a quick note, if you don't see the blog entries either through the MGMA Excel users community or on my blog, you might find those helpful as you go through and watch these videos because I try to explain what on earth I'm doing in between the videos and the blog. Hopefully you learn a little bit about how Excel works. All that said, I want to do four really really basic functions today, but then put them together to show you something that's, I think, helpful. Uh, let's start with um, some really basic stuff here. Here's my date, and there's a function called year that will tell you the year of what's in G1. The month will tell you what month it is. The day will tell you what day it is. And, you know, that's really, really basic. All you got to do is put the year, the month, and the day, and that works. The other thing I want to show you is this date function. And what date does, let's just pop this in, is you tell it the year, you tell it the month, you tell it the day, and Excel will put it in its little date, time, code, number, formula thing that uh, will show 6-15-2011. And you're saying, Nate, why on earth? I mean, I can look at a year and tell what year it is. I can look at the month. I mean, I, I don't need a formula to put in 6-15-2011. I can just type that. That's all true. Let me show you where I use these types, uh, year, month, day kind of things, and this date that puts the year, then the month, and the day together. If you have a list of months and you, you want to chart or graph or report on a bunch of months, one of the things you can do is notice how my cursor turns in this plus. You can drag down, and Excel will try to fill for you. But you see, Excel's not helping me here. They're giving me days, and you know, no, no, I, what I really want to do is do August. But if I type in 8, 1, 11, and I type in 9, 1, 11, say, and then I take this range and fill down, let's just go to the end of the no, we, we can go through 12 months. Then Excel will calculate that for me, and I can drag down, and you don't have to type all those things. Excel will just do it for me. Another way to get these dates is to take this whole range, and then this area over here is the fill button, and then you can do series. And look, the default is day, like I had before, and I said, no, 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 I want month. You could do year, you can do weekday. If you did, I want every three months, you could change the step value. But that's what I want. I just want every month, do another day, and I can get the same thing that way. The other thing I can do is I can do this formula right here. And let me bring this up. We're back to that same date function again. But look what it does. Maybe if I drag it down here. I say, give me the year from L4, which is right here. So it says, well, yeah, I can figure that out. It's 2011. Then take the month from L4. That's July. And add one, so that gives me eight. And for the day, I'm just going to punch in one because I just want the first day of every month. When I copy this down, I get the same thing. Now I've got three different ways to fill 12 months worth of data. And you say, well, you know, if I punch in a few, I can drag down and that works. Or if I do the whole list and do fill down with these series, that works. And there's some cool things we can do with trends and stuff. We'll get to the fill series thing later. But the thing I wanted to show you is, and in fact, I even put a little text box out here. The only way you can change the first date and the formulas update automatically, watch what happens if I do 9, 1, 11 here. Nothing. If I do 9, 1, 11 here, nothing. If I put 9, 1, 11 here, see everything updates because it's all based on a formula. And so if you, you want to look at uh, like a rolling report, the last 12 months of uh, collections or the last 12 months of receivables or whatever you're looking at, if you get the date right once and then put the formulas in, then all you've got to do is update this date and you're good to go. And remember, we could even combine this with the, that now and today thing that we had a couple videos ago and calculate what the day is and have it all format for you. So you never have to do the series thing. You never have to do the drag down thing. It works automatically because we're using this date function and then year and month. And then I'm just putting in one for the day. That's what I wanted to show you today. Some really basic stuff over here, but a cool way to make dates update automatically by combining the formulas together and doing something like this. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.